Welcome back to my channel. My name's Jessica and you're joining me here at Jessica's Craft Times. This is normally my whip and chat, but I thought I'd do something a little bit different this week. Um, hubby and I were up in the Blue Mountains and I thought I'd take you on a little bit of a tour around some of the Blue Mountains. Um, we are part of a, whoops, we are part of a youth organisation up there and we have a property in Blackheath. So this is actually in Blackheath in the Blue Mountains in New South Wales. And we're up there doing some work. Normally this time of the year we run a two week youth camp for kids aged between 8 and 18. And then we have the older 18 and over as the leaders in the camp. But being COVID, it is the first year we have not run a camp in January in 61 years. So it's a little bit sad, but we just couldn't risk it. It wasn't, it was too hard with COVID this year, which is such a shame because last year in 2020, we had the bushfires come through Blackheath and we actually had four out of our five acres of our property burnt. Luckily, none of the acreage that was burnt was any of our buildings or structures. It actually came up through the back of the property, which is all bush, and it stopped at our tennis court and turned around and went back on itself. But that meant that that year we had bushfires up in the Blue Mountains and we couldn't run a full camp either. We ran a week-long camp and it was only for 14 and over. And the reason we did that was because, yet again, it was too dangerous with fires around us. Um, and we had to keep it to a smaller group that if we needed to evacuate, we could. And we had enough vehicles to do this. But this is the road leading down from our property. And as you can see, this is where the fire came through. So this is 12 months worth of growth on the trees. Um, and you can see how this used to be all lush bush. And you can see how all the trees have burnt. But they're coming back. And everything's starting to grow back and starting to um, come back. Australian bush does actually need to be burnt a lot of the time to rejuvenate. Unfortunately, the fires that did come through here were extremely hot and it's taking a bit longer to grow back. But it is coming back, which is nice to see. So I'm actually just driving down to one of the lookouts and this is one of the walks that the kids do during camp was another reason that we couldn't run our camp this year is because a lot of the tracks around the camp that we can walk from are still closed due to fire damage. It took out a lot of our walking tracks and the risk of falling trees etc is just too high. So we won't actually be able to drive down to the lookout here. The road's closed, I've fenced it off, it's too dangerous. But you get a little bit of an idea of, of what fires came through. So we were up at camp over the weekend to do some work on the church on the property. So the church has been 20 years in the making and we're starting to sort of get towards the end of it. We're starting to put the undercoat on the wall and doing some painting. Um, so we've got all the painting to do got the light fittings to go in and we've got the flooring to go in and then it's we've still got the outside to work on but the inside it'll be really nice we are just got a little bit more work up high to do and we can take all the scaffolding down on the inside of the church which will be amazing um but yeah so we thought we'd just go for a bit of a drive down um this is one of the lookouts that yeah Hubby knows very, very well. I don't know it as well, but he knows it very well. Um, and then we've actually gone a different way home than what we normally do. We've gone down the other side of the mountain, which I'd never been. Um, so it's going to be cool. You can see some of the footage of that. So this is taking you down to one of the lookouts. And you can just see how the the bush was all burnt. And this is as far as we can go. So... Now we'll uh, take off and we'll go the other direction. Hopefully the camera's a little bit steadier. I didn't even think to do this before I left home, so it was a real uh, let's try and doctor <laughs> something to hold my phone into place. 
Um, so yeah, that that was our weekend. Um, very sad. This we had to cancel camp this year. So normally, this time in January, we're up there with around about 40 kids. There's normally about 60 of us all together running, doing a camp for two weeks. And it's the first time in 61 years that this camp hasn't gone ahead. So that's that's a little bit sad, but we just couldn't do it with COVID. So what else have I been up to this week? Well, sorry, the focus went off a bit there. So this is just driving back out from the lookout back towards our property and up to the main road and then we'll start heading home. So what have I done this week? Well, I've had a little bit of a relaxing week. Last Thursday, the 7th of January, was Orthodox Christmas, which my husband is Orthodox. So we celebrated at his parents' place, had dinner, and then Mark stayed down at his grandparents'. And normally he would go to his grandparents' for this two weeks that hubby and I are up running the kids, the kit, uh, the camp. We're a little bit crazy. We swap one child for 40, but we love doing it. Um, whoops, we've lost the phone again. So um, he went down there and he's actually down there for the whole week. Um, his grandmother had booked him into swim lessons and a few other bits and pieces. So he will stay down there for the week. And we have got a week at home without a child. It's like back when we first got together and no kids around. So hubby's back at work now. He was he had a couple of days off work and that's when we headed up to camp and did the work up around camp. But I've been fairly busy with my crafts. I've started on my crystal canvas art, dinosaur canvas, which I started last week in the whip and chat, and that's coming along nicely. Um, I've also infini finished my embroidery which you won't see for another couple of weeks because I've got videos coming up. I've filmed all them. Um, I've been doing my black work cell with peppermint purple. So tonight um, I'm recording this on Wednesday. So tonight the second week is released. And I'm so excited. I haven't done the border. I'm umming and ahhing what to do with the border. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just not sure which way to go. Someone posted a, a border up the other day that they've done and I'm kind of thinking I might go with it. We'll wait and see. But, yeah, the second one's released tonight and I'm super excited about that. I've been working on my temperature cross stitch. That is coming along nicely. I'm excited. I think I've done a 10 by 10 square section. 10 by 10 which is 150 stitches by 150 stitches um, so that that's coming along I'm I'm getting there oh no sorry 100 by 100 stitches I can't mass um, so that one's coming along really really nicely uh, I also gave my hand at block mounting some of my diamond paintings so I've got a few bigger diamond paintings that don't fit in my portfolios so I've got a couple of portfolios that I use I've got a smaller and a larger one and that's for all my smaller projects and then my bigger ones I wasn't sure what I wanted to do they're not ones that I'm overly keen on framing at the moment I'm kind of running out of wall space so I gave my hand a block mounting and it seems to have worked okay I use a spray adhesive and a 3mm MDF board and cut them down and glued it on the spray adhesive probably wasn't the best spray adhesive. I went and checked on them yesterday and the backs of them are starting to lift. So whether I needed to weigh it down a little bit more because there's a bit more pressure on it. But I'm just playing around so I'll, I've taped them down for now. We'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot with my next one and see how I go. I might try a different adhesive next time. But that, that was a fairly big project. That took up an afternoon to do. I did three of them. Um, what else have I been doing? Diamond painting, my stitching. That's probably about all. Oh, I did do 
Jenka, I think it's called. It's like blocks, so similar to Lego. And um, you put them together in layers and screw them down. And Hubby had got me a horse for my birthday, and I did that. That was a three day project. So if you jump over to my Facebook page, I'll pop the link below. There's a photo on my Facebook page. Um, so that was that was a big project. That was three days doing it. So I'll show you all these things next week. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a bit different. This is kind of cool. Coming up here in the video, there's an old school bus. Whoa, it's so cool. Hubby was so excited and then he's like, I've got to pull out and drive behind it. And he was just so excited to drive behind it. It was pretty cool. Like 1950s bus all decked out. Whoops, the camera dropped again. So normally at this intersection we would go left to go home. We're going right this time. So this is, I've driven this short little section of road a few times, but the the rest of the way home we don't, I've um, never driven before and it was really great to see. I've driven in sections of the road, but not the whole way. So this is some of the bush up in the Blue Mountains. It's just a beautiful, beautiful area. Snows in winter can get very hot in summer. Um, but it's just a, be a beautiful, beautiful area of Australia. So, yeah, my crafting, um, that's probably about all that I did with my crafting. Um, oh, I did order in some new products. So they'll be popping up in my unboxing over the next couple of weeks. So I do have some different crafts coming up. Um, so keep your eye out for those. Uh, I like in my channel just to give it a crack, give it a go, see how it goes. Nothing's meant to be perfect. And you guys can come along with the on the journey with me. Um, so, yeah, I've got a few. I think there's about four different things coming up. Um, I want to do start my beaded embroidery as well. I've never done one of them. So that will be coming up. And this weekend we have a new miniature room that will be starting. I'm a bit nervous about this miniature room. Bye bye bus. We pick him up again soon anyway. He he went a different way to us. Um, a new miniature room. I'm really nervous. I've been putting off starting it. I have to go and start it tomorrow. The instructions are not overly clear. I've managed to contact the seller and get an English because the instructions that came with it were in Chinese, I think. Um, and I've contacted the seller and they've sent me English instructions. But they're not the clearest instructions. So this, this next house is going to be a bit of a challenge. It's going to be a little bit different to what we... Um, what I've built in the in the past, so we'll we'll see how that goes. Um, oh, I I did a little bit of paint with numbers. I haven't done the unboxing yet. That's coming up on the channel, but I did do some paint by numbers, and it was funny. I didn't realize when I ordered this order, I brought a paint with numbers for me and one for Mark, and I brought a diamond painting for me and one for Mark. It wasn't overly intentional. So Mark and I sat down and he painted his canvas and I had a start on my paint by number. So that will be coming up again on the channel. I'll do a little bit of that on the video. It's actually, it's, it's difficult but it's not. I'm kind of not, I'm letting it go with the flow and see how things go. I'm not being too pedantic with it. Which if you've followed me or watched any of my videos, I'm not about perfection. It's about enjoying the craft. Um, it's my relax, it's my downtime um, and it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you enjoy doing your craft, as long as it gives you enjoyment doing it. I think, and that's where a lot of people have said to me before, oh, why don't you sell this and why don't you sell that? You're so good at making things. Thank, thank you very much for the compliment, but I couldn't sell it. And the reason I couldn't is because I... I would have to have it perfect. Even though handmade doesn't need to be perfect, um, it would kind of take the enjoyment of making it out of me. So 
my crafts I do are purely for myself and for my enjoyment of creating something and what happens with them once they're created who knows like I'm, I'm running out of wall space and bed space I had someone tell me over Christmas it's like oh once you get to a thousand subscribers on your channel you need to do an like a art opening I'm like yeah okay he's like no really you're so good I'm like oh no it's it's just my enjoyment and I'm sure a lot of people out there they do it whoops we had a bit of a there's my fantastic tape sorry we had a bit of an issue the phone fell we've pulled over and started again and this is where we catch up to the bus again and then I decided we we're a little bit further from the road that I wanted to so this is just a short clip <coughs> excuse me so yeah my crafts are really about me enjoying it so this is a little bit further down in the Blue Mountains and as you can see the fire affected this area quite a great deal um, the hills off to the left there they're all fire all burnt they're just sticks reminds me kind of of whiskers on a guy's face um, and they're slowly growing back and and it will all come back eventually but it's just going to take time so this is quite a beautiful road down here bendy road you get to see the bush in all its glory down here and yeah I hadn't I hadn't driven this whole way I'd driven a little bit on the other end of it the other end of this road but not up this end and it's just it was a beautiful we ended up um coming home a day early we ran out of paint for the church and this was late afternoon and I went oh it's just perfect it's blue sky and we'd just spent the last two weeks in Sydney with clouds middle of summer and it was still warm we were still getting 20 25 degree days not hot but warm days but rain every day and um clouds we were sick of being in the clouds and so this is the first weekend we actually had a bit of sunshine and blue skies um which was really nice to have some blue skies <laughs> I've, I've really enjoyed it the last couple of days we've been home on our own um, hubby and I are trying to get out and do some walking each day so there's a clip after we drive through the hills of um, a beach we found and we went for a bit of a walk on that and it's been a bit warmer the last couple of days it was 29 and 32 I think today and 29 Monday so a little bit warmer weather um, so we've been trying to get out and go for a walk in the afternoon and enjoy enjoy the area we live in um, I live in the Shire in, in New South Wales and it's a beautiful part of Sydney I love the Blue Mountains but the Shire is also pretty good too we've got rivers and beach and National Park and we've sort of got it all at our fingertips which I'm really really lucky that I'm able to live in this area um, but yeah this is just showing you some of the blue mountains some of the fire affected areas and I hope you're enjoying seeing some footage other than me diamond painting but yeah so the last two through two and a half days um, it's just been hubby and I home which has been really really nice um, I'm very thankful I've got in-laws that are able to look after Mark and they love having him and he loves being down there mind you I was on the phone to him this morning and apparently two days ago they went for a night walk it's this thing he loves to do with his grandparents they go for a walk on the beach at night or you know just as the sun's setting and um, apparently his finger got jammed in the car door and he had a bit of a cry I want to go home with mummy and papa they don't jam my finger in the door we don't go on night walks but they love me <laughs> so he's he's missing us and even hubby last night before we went to bed goes oh I'm missing our little man but um 
I'm missing him and, and it's strange at camp I don't really notice it because we're so full on it's you're up at 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning and the kids don't go to bed till 10, 30, 11 and then you've got your hour or so wind down and you're not in bed till 12, 1 o'clock and then back up at 6.30. So you don't really have time to think about missing missing anyone but being at home without the little man around the house, it's, I'm missing him a bit. Hubby and I finally took the Christmas decorations down yesterday, the 12th of January, that's all right. I think they've been up for two months because I put them up in November because we were running out of weekends that we were free to do it. <coughs> Excuse me. So I um, finally took the Christmas decorations down and I went through and got rid of a heap of stuff in the tubs that we just haven't been using. I'm like, I need, let's just get rid of them. We're not using them. Excuse me. Oh, sounds like I need to get back to bed for a bit. Um, so yeah, that was that was Christmas decorations all down and gone, and now we start prepping for my son's fifth birthday. He's getting old quickly. Oh, hubby wasn't very happy here. We'd been having such a beautiful run, and then we got up behind this car, and they were doing like twenty to thirty k's under the speed limit. Hubby wasn't very happy. At least they eventually pulled over and let us pass because he was getting really, really annoyed. Um, we we're really lucky that we had such a, a clear run through here. Um, so, yeah, it's big, big changes for us this year. Um, Mark's off to school. His first year of school this year, which is all new for him. He's been in preschool or kindy if you're in other parts of Australia and he's now off to his first prep which they call kindy in New South Wales I know it in Victoria is prep so he's off to big boys school this year we've got to go and get his book list which we will do soon um, and hubby and I have been trialing I brought I got him a smoker a couple of years ago and he hadn't touched it and we finally started playing around with it so I'm looking forward to I've got to go and buy some more ribs and we're going to do some more ribs in the smoker which is really good this is where the guy finally pulled over and let us pass and hubby was like yes <laughs> I don't think he even pulled over before hubby was around him <laughs> um, and we're back to just a clear open road so yeah, I'm looking forward to trialling that a few more times and at the start of March is Mark's birthday so um, we want to have the family round and do a little barbecue. We don't have big families. Um, I'm hoping, hoping fingers crossed with the border restrictions will be lifted and my mum will be able to come up and spend some time with us for his birthday and we're going to look after one of his friends um, one of my one of my good friends she's going out that afternoon to see Frozen it's just a little bit jealous and we can look after his son which is going to be perfect because Mark and him get along really really well so we'll have them around for his birthday and then invite his godparents and the kids around and just do something little um, last year we had a big bash and it was right before COVID it was like the weekend before all our restrictions started coming in and we had a big bash I think we had about 40 people here which was great but I said we did the big one last year this year let's do a nice little quiet family one so that'll be nice looking forward to that and fingers crossed we don't have too many more restrictions and we're able to do it um, but yeah was, this is just a beautiful area of Australia so what else has been happening this week not much. I'm hoping I wanted to get um, the dinosaur diamond painting done and block mounted by the time Mark gets home on the weekend. I don't even know when he's coming home. I asked Hubby, I'm like, when are your parents dropping him off or do we have to pick him up? Or And he's like, oh, I don't know. And then speaking to them today, they said something about going out on the kayak fishing on Saturday. So I'm assuming we're not seeing him Saturday. I have no idea when our child's coming home. Whoops, phone fell again. So 
hopefully <laughs> we'll get him home this weekend. We'll see. And then knowing my luck, next week it's going to turn, the weather's going to turn, and we're going to have rain and clouds and we'll be stuck in the house again. But, um, yeah, so eventually we'll get our son home. It's a bit of a fight sometimes to get him home. So the rest of my week I'm just going to be doing a couple of uh, recordings of unboxings and things like that that I can pre-record because then we've got I think another two weeks of school holidays before he starts school and it's very hard to do videos when he's home. Um, so and I, I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to night time once dinner's done and I kind of tune off and that's my crafting time. <coughs> Excuse me. That's my crafting time and I don't tend to like to do any jobs whatsoever unless it's something that I want to do for myself. I'm a bit selfish when it comes to that in the afternoons. Once dinner's done, that's my, my duties for the days are done. Um... So this is quite a bendy road. Wasn't doing my motion sickness very good at all. But there's just some beautiful views coming along here. So yeah, that's yeah. He's going to be big boy school, and hoping some of my family can make it up for his birthday. Um, and. I'm hoping that by next school holidays I can head down to Melbourne and see everyone. And then we're looking at running instead of, because we couldn't run the camp in January, we're hoping that the middle school holidays of the year we're going to be able to run a week-long camp, which normally there is a small camp run in winter. It's normally only like, I think, four days, but we're hoping to run a full week-long one um, in the middle school holidays and for more kids we're just trying to work out how we can fit them because we've got to fit them all in the house on the property we can't do tents in winter because it snows up in Blackheath so that's a challenge we've got to try and fit everyone into the house and I think I've worked out a way that we can juggle bedrooms and beds to be able to fit more people in so that will be interesting to see but fingers crossed we can run it and then that can be our official camp for this year. But other than that, that's sort of, yeah, camp. I'm trying to, you know, we'll have to try and see if we can run some activities for the kids during the year. Keeping up with my craft project, trying to think of some new crafts that I can do or different things I can do on the channel. So if you've got any ideas, pop them below in the comments. Um, I'm happy to give anything a go. Um, I love playing with different crafts. And um, yeah, there's always my Facebook page as well. So in the comments below, click on the link to Facebook and just answer a couple of questions. It's like, you need to be kind on the page. I don't want any bullying or anything like that. And it's a place to go and share anything that you've created. And it doesn't have to be craft related. If you've renovated a room or redecorated a room or you've done some baking on the weekend and made a cake or some biscuits or cooked cooked a meal, I'd love to see anything you've created yourself. Um, I'm yeah, looking forward to it. I'm, th I'm thinking we might have to smoke some meat on the weekend, get it going, maybe even Friday. I think hubby's working from home on Friday, so we could do it Friday. Because once, once it's on, you kind of just need to keep checking on it, but you don't have to like hover over it so he can work. He can work from home and keep an eye on it at the same time. But I'd love to know where you're from, if you're subscribed and whereabouts you live and where you come from.
it's really pretty. I'm just, I'm just watching. <laughs> I, should, I should be talking, but I just got memorized and started watching. You can see all the fire damage here too. I think the focus on the camera is having a little bit of an issue. Or the road's a bit bumpy, one of the two. I know at one stage the camera had a bit of a hissy fit and didn't focus. But you can see like this whole area, we've got friends that um, live towards the bottom of this road and they were affected, you know, they evacuated multiple times during summer last year because the fires kept coming and then they'd die down and then they'd come up again and then they'd die down and then they'd come up again. Oh, those trees have got lots of regrowth on them. So yeah, last last summer was hard. It um, basically the east coast of Australia in New South Wales. It started up north near Queensland, and the fires basically just worked their way down the east coast, and so many communities affected. And then we went straight from that, and then we had some flooding. Places flooded, and then from that we went into COVID. So. It's definitely been, it's been probably nearly 18 months of natural disaster and, and pandemic. Um, and I sort of can't see, everyone's like, oh, I'll bring on 2021, but I don't know if 2021 is going to be any better than 2020. I'm really worried 2020 was a warm up for 2021, but we'll just have to wait and see what the year brings us. As long as you have your health, I guess, and your family. Um, we're doing okay. We're, we're making ends meet and, and making the best of the situation we can. I am really craving. I'm very much a homebody and, and quite happily sit at home and enjoy my life at home and my craft and TV shows and YouTube. But um, I'm really missing having social events with people i'm really missing giving you know my friends and families big cuddles and and sitting down in the afternoon and having something to eat and a drink and a laugh and even though we have been able to catch up with a few people we were really lucky in december our restrictions lifted right round when hubby and i planned to have our birthday barbecue and i got to see everyone then and then the restrictions went back down, so we, we snuck in a snuck in a quick visit in between restrictions. But um, I'm really really missing the social interaction and just catching up with people. Um, soon we're going to go from our bush and our beautiful bush setting in the Blue Mountains to the beach. So, like I said earlier, we live in the Shire. And the Shire is surrounded by, this is where my camera starts stuffing up a bit. Um, the Shire is surrounded by National Park. And we have beaches. And this is right on the east coast of Australia. It's in the National Park, the Royal National Park in New South Wales. And this is just a little, it's called Gary's, Gary's Beach. And it's right on the coast. And we went for a walk. It's only a small beach. And we found all these beautiful, beautiful rock pools. I'm not quite sure. I think it's because I tilted the camera that way that I should have been holding it the other way. So, sorry, it's a bit of a skinny view. It was actually quite windy, so I'm surprised I held this camera as steady as I could. But these rock pools were just amazing. Look at the green in the, in the seaweed. They were just amazing. I think I ended up cleaning my feet in this one. Yeah, I had sand in my, my feet. There's Hubby's legs. Um, they were just absolutely beautiful. And then up on the hill that you just saw ahead of us, there were all these houses. We can't work out. And we're thinking they're people's holiday houses. But it was just a beautiful day. So out past this... Uh, rock pool in the front it, that's like a huge rock pool <coughs> excuse me where the waters water was crashing in there was like a really really big rock pool out there and we're thinking I don't know the history of this area but we're thinking that all these rocks were possibly man-made 
and put there as like a break because we found one of the rocks had a bolt in it. So yeah, the top bit at the screen, you can see some rocks up where the waves just crashed and then between that, the edge here and those rocks is like a huge rock pool. The sun wasn't doing the best angles for me either, but it was just so pretty. It was so, so pretty. And it's a really beautiful drive into there. Unfortunately, my uh, motion sickness is playing up on me a little bit at the moment, so I didn't get any footage of us driving in. I, I just couldn't play with my phone to get it working. But it was just, it was really nice. So we went for a slow walk along all these rock pools here. And then um, we walked back. There's a big hill behind us. We walked back and then walked right along the other edge of the beach. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's just so pretty, so beautiful. There was lots of people enjoying enjoying the warm weather. It was about 29 degrees Celsius. So it was just a perfect day. That's a huge, huge sort of rock pool. Water sitting there. And right, right on the east coast of Australia. So yeah, this, this beach is within the National Park. There's another beach in this area that we normally go to and it's called Bundina. And it's more of a little bay. They have the coastal beach, but they also have a little bay. Look at the blue in the rock there. They have a little bay, which we normally go to when we have Mark, because it's nice and quiet. You don't get too much of a um, too much of a wave. Let's try it. That one's quite a deep one. Where this is a little bit, a little bit. He's all right if he plays right on the edge, but the bay he can sort of swim in. So we hadn't been here and a girlfriend suggested this one. And I'm really glad we went in to have the beach so close to us. I need to start using Then we went for a walk down um, next to Cronulla last night. It's called Wanda. It's just the beach next to Cronulla. And um, went for a walk along the beach there. There was heaps of people out like, after dinner last night, going for a walk. It's just pretty. It was just really, really pretty. And the National Park. So from this beach here, you can actually walk to the Bundina Beach. They do have walking tracks. And there'll be a video, a photo at the end of the video, which has a, a map of the walking tracks. And then we've had friends that have gone, where did they go? They caught a train to one of the stations within the bush and then they walked, um, camped overnight and walked around to Bundina, hiked, and then we, we went and picked them up from Bundina. But yeah, there's houses up on the hill there and then you've just got a big cliff behind us. So really, really, I think I saw the fish up here. Oh no, I didn't get the fish. There was one of the little rock pools that sort of had, it was not a rock pool as such, it was more a little bit of a stream in between the rocks, had some little fishies in it, but by the time I got my phone out again, um, I lost the fishies. There's another little, little one there. It's amazing the sea life that grows into it. And then we'll um, switch over. This was just on the edge where the water was hitting the rocks and splashing up, and I thought it was quite pretty. But thank you for joining me for my whip and chat this week, and I hope you are all well. Look after yourself. Welcome to all my new subscribers, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.